morning, everyone. Welcome back to my class. We are now on day five of our week at art school. We have four students remaining, and whichever one of them graduates wins 10 grand. Today, we're gonna be carving stone. When I call out your name, say here and come up and grab a random sheet of paper. Shaq. Yes, all right, here. Savannah. I'm here. I got my own. Ryan. Here. Shaq's cow. And Vanessa. Here. You get the last one. This is the one thing I didn't want. Some of you guys may recall, yesterday when we took roll, I asked you guys to give me random animals. Dragon. A cow. Moo. Sea turtle. A lizard. In front of you are those random animals, and that will be your topic for today. All right. You guys have five hours to make these stone carvings. Don't forget, worst one gets eliminated. Whoever wins gets an advantage. This is gonna be really hard. I have no clue what I'm doing. Are you comfortable making art of lizards? Not really, but I'm comfortable making art with my hands, so we're gonna definitely go okay. work it out. Okay, we'll cool. To... Vanessa, you got a dragon? Yes, How do you I feel did. about your topic? I feel very intimidated. Dragons are pretty detailed, and I don't know how to carve stone. What topic did you get? Turtle? Oh, I think that was the one yeah, you chose. Yeah, this is my animal. What are your thoughts about carving with stone? I'm afraid that I'm gonna hit it wrong, and it's just all gonna crumble into pieces. Let's go get our materials. Oh. I don't know what any of this is for. So I kind of just grab all the okay, tools. So literally, like one of everything. Can you pull this for me? Thank you. I feel like I could break this whole table. I think dragon and lizard are going to be pretty tough topics. Yeah. Wow, Ryan, you got a cow. Thank you, Shaq. Well, luckily for you, my favorite food, steak, medium rare. So I do, in fact, love cows. So I should just do a big T-bone steak? Probably wouldn't win with that, but I do love steaks. Class, when you guys start carving your stone, make sure you put on your safety goggles. I don't want stone getting in anyone's eye. Me and Bumbun are both safe. We're ready to go. This is definitely going to be the most difficult class by far. It is very hard. Rock hard you'd say. The main goal for everyone today is just to get out of their comfort zone and try something new because for all of them this is definitely a medium they're not comfortable with. Most of them paint, they draw, some sculpt here and there but I feel like stone carving is not something that's very common so they're gonna have to use their creativity, they're gonna need to learn a new skill set. I'm very curious to see what they do with these stones. I've drawn plenty, I've never done this so. I've got a sketch on one side. Savannah and don't forget about your advantage so yeah. remember Halfway through. I will be monitoring everybody's projects. For those of you guys that don't know what we're talking about, Savannah won the challenge yesterday, so she got this advantage. Roll the clip. Tomorrow, halfway through the challenge, you can switch two people's art. This should be interesting. This is great! I'm attempting to get a shape going. I know exactly what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. Got it. I feel a little deranged doing this, honestly. It looks like you've done that repetitive stabbing motion before. You're just like. Now I can use my true talent! I've been waiting my whole life for this! I already cut myself like three times. Oh! Jack, what'd you do? Jack! You were the one that told me not to use that! I didn't, man! I'm, I'm too strong! Jack, you put too much pressure on it! It's okay, we can make it small like this though, right? If you want, yeah. Ben, so since you did a dragon, hopefully you've learned from it. Do you want to go talk to Vanessa? Give her a little bit of advice? In one of our crash challenges, I did a dragon and oh, okay. it did not turn out well at all. <laughs> I made it like super flat and I only did the side image. One good way to think about it is drawing it from the side and then drawing it from the front. Okay. This is our videographer's worst nightmare because the audio is so bad. No, that's not what I look like. Hi. I look like Shaggy. <laughs> I am lost in the complete sauce. I don't know what I'm doing, man. If you have this outline, you also need to know what it looks like from the front. Kind of carve from both. Yeah, oh, so I this see. is my TA, Mackenzie. Last time we did stone carving, Mackenzie won the crafts challenge. Obviously, this is a really hard challenge. I think they're struggling quite a lot. Why don't you go around and give everyone a little bit of advice? Okay, how's it going, Ryan? I'm doing a cow laying down, and then I'm gonna put the horns on at the end using a different piece. Cutting it in half is a good idea. Do you have turtle? Yeah. Something that may be a, a bit easier, hammering like little indents. I'm just so scared of using the hammer because I don't yeah. want it to crack in half. Sure. Yeah. Go slow with it. I would just go like this. Oh, I see. Like and that, then when you, you know? angle it that way, yeah. this really huge chunk needs to. Yeah, you need to, to get rid of all that. And say you less, need to do that really less. quickly. About the new technique called the stab and jab. Check it out. <laughs> Not bad so far. Probably gonna end up taking out a lot of the shell, honestly, just so these little inner raised parts got it. remain like 3D. You gotta be very careful about like how much you have left as well. How's your dragon head coming along? I'm getting somewhere. Oh, not bad. You have a horn. Yeah. That's cool. It's not looking like it yet, but I'm getting the main shape. I'm starting to get it rounded. So we are almost halfway through the class, which means Savannah is about to use her advantage. I think the interesting thing is that nobody else knows about this yet. If she doesn't like her piece, she can switch her topic and 
peace with someone if she wants or she can switch two people to mess them up. I'm not sure how the other contestants are gonna react. Savannah, may I talk to you for a moment? Yes. I actually like where mine's going, so I'm keeping mine. Check is already having some difficulties. Need some help. I could switch Ryan's and Vanessa's. And really and then, mess them up. Yeah. Ryan has sculpted things before, so I am particularly worried about him. And even though Vanessa hasn't sculpted, she was able to crank out like a whole dragon really fast. So that worries me too. Class, may I have your attention? You guys remember how Savannah won the last class, correct? No. Yes. Savannah, do you want to do the honors and tell them what your advantage Okay, my advantage is I get to switch two of your projects. Any two that I want. Two of them. Who's our do you want to switch? I am so sorry. Love you both, but I'm switching Ryan's and Vanessa's. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> She's trying to get you up out of here, bro. I don't remember. I'm so sorry. Which means you guys beautiful. change topics as well. Here's my dragon. Hey. Thanks. Let's go see what she's thinking. Vanessa, I only have one side going on that. I got the little snow in the horn. All right, let's yeah. kill it. All right, we got, we got this. this. Yeah. We got this. So I wanted this dragon to start off with, so this is kind of cool. And there's a layout, so now I just need to make it look good. I can't blame Savannah because me and Ryan were pretty far along, so it made sense. She's winning, so she's getting these crappy decision she has to make. Last may I have your attention? I have some familiar faces. Hey! hey. We're around halfway through class of day five, so it's time for me to introduce the plot twist. So while they're doing their stone carvings, you guys will be doing a mini challenge, and one of you guys are coming back in the competition. What? Hey. You four have the rest of class to make art out of clay. Okay. okay. And whoever's piece is the best comes back in. That's crazy. All right, why don't you guys go to the back and take a seat? The reduction is awesome. Everybody deserves a second chance. Thanks. Welcome back. Class is pretty chaotic right now. We have eight people once again. We have students doing rock art and then we also have students doing clay art the four people that lost on the first four days are being given the second chance right now to come back in not thrilled let's put it that way Michelle do you think you're coming back in no I'm tired I don't know what I'm making I'm already at a bad start it'll be interesting to see which one of them gets some redemption cool thing about this is they can make whatever they want let's see what they do before we keep going with this video building out the art school was really expensive so we got Fortnite to sponsor this video now my friends will be doing finger paintings you will each design your own Fortnite skin winner wins 500 bucks you may start in Fortnite's fourth chapter of Battle Royale, they have a new map with really, really cool medieval-themed buildings. What is going on here? This is a three-eyed creature. Additionally, with the power of Unreal Engine 5, Fortnite is getting a huge graphics update, making for high-quality visuals at a super-fast frame rate. Just look at all the high-quality visuals. That's so cool! This season, players will be able to get around with dirt biking and sprint vaulting, even being able to perform tricks like wheelies and stoppies. They will also have new medieval weapons with a futuristic touch. Whoa! And the craziest part is that this season, Fortnite is introducing augments. Ben, you know what augments are? Augments are like buffs that you get during the match. My favorite one is Bush Warrior, so if I camp in a bush, I regain health. Ben, and for that, you get to steal anyone's color. Jake, no purple. You could have asked me to do the line. Mr. Beast has also joined Fortnite's icon series, and his skins are now available for purchase in the item shop. And I'm done with my lines. Everyone stop what you're oh, doing. What? Jake, I don't know about yours. What do you mean? <laughs> ben, yours is lacking a little color. Can I clown with the Fortnite pickaxe? Put it down. All right, Mackenzie, congratulations. You win this one. Play the all new chapter four season one today and download with my link below. Join the challenges. Go go go! Let's go back to the video. How are you feeling? I am determined for this redemption challenge. Henry, same spot. I've never worked with Clay before. Maybe like in third grade. Well, today you have a chance for redemption. So today I'm doing shroomy, right, shroomba, and giga shroom. Keep in mind, Michelle, you don't have five hours. You only have two and a half. Do your best, because honestly, I think you have a chance to come back in. Okay. And just like that, yeah, she's motivated. <laughs> if I just mimic one of these characters, would that be acceptable? It depends how complex you can get with it. If you can make it look really impressive. Like if I got the wings on Turks? That will be pretty impressive. Back in high school, I took art one and we did our own little like pinch pot monsters. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna do it again. His name is Reginald. He's an original character and I love him. I'm gonna do one of these characters building this table. Michelle, have I mentioned that I made these tables? This is the base. I made the eyes. Now I'm gonna put it on to complete the look. Hello everybody, I'm the new teacher and I am not a substitute at all. So apparently Jake's trying to be the new teacher. Hi, Jake. I am Mr. Riley. 
Oh. I'm gonna write you guys up, and your actual teacher is gonna get you in trouble. How about that? Nobody one? listens to this. We can all just sit in the corner and do nothing for the rest of class, and you guys get mountains of homework. Can you keep it down? I'm trying to work. I understand that your art was switched recently. Now I have a dragon. Please don't drop it. It's sort of rhinoceros. I know, but it was already there. It'll look like a dragon. Stuff I in hope the back. So. I have filling. faith. It looks like you're doing a good job. It's kind of trying to get that gritty, like, scaly look into it. How's it going? I'm working on creating depth in my sea turtle. I'm just worried about bringing the shell's form out. You're gonna want to chisel these down a little bit more, <laughs> yeah. and then you have to start chiseling to the side so it starts to be more rounded. If it's a little bit flatter on the top, that's okay. Chisel this down diagonally. You got Ryan's piece. I did. Well, he had this side done, so I'm trying to imitate it. The okay. teacher, <laughs> me, uh, really likes when a piece is clean. Try to replicate it as best as you can. So I was going fin to quit about 10 minutes ago. I I heard you. But now that y'all told me to stay in it, I actually kind of like the way it's coming out and I'm kind of getting it. Yeah, it's looking good. If you can make the scales 3D, you got it. We back! Never give up on your dreams. If you're watching this video and you're going through hard life, don't quit. Guys, do you want me to do other teacher things? You could give me extra credit. How about this? No. Real teachers give extra credit. If you're a real teacher, prove it. Can't prove it. Oh, he's a real teacher, all right. Hey, guys. You're about to get expelled from summer school. Expelled? Do you even have that power? Because I'm the teacher. Okay. If that's what you want to believe. I think my teacher duties are over. I think I did a pretty good job, honestly. Jake, class is back. That's the last time I'm trusting you with these. I got into a fight with a couple of them. Why are you fighting with our students? I almost expelled a couple of them. What? <laughs> Jake, you've been teacher for 10 minutes. I'm feeling a little lost. I'm like, I don't know exactly what I want to do yet. Hopefully it'll come to me. Monster, maybe. I don't know. We are coming along. I've got, you know, the teeth outlined on both sides, trying to make it asymmetrical. I don't feel great. I'm just going to keep working on it. No. This is what I have. I don't know if I'll win, but I'm hoping I do. I can definitely picture my turtle at the bottom of a fish tank or something. I tried to make the shell look separate from the body for sure. That's probably as detailed as I could hope to do with stone, honestly. I thought I would have more time to finish, but this character took forever. So class has ended. Time is up. Time is up. The challenge is over. First thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna go around and take a look at these clay sculptures. Just knowing that one of them is gonna come back in is pretty stressful because they're all really good artists. So I made a Mario flower. So this is my original monster, Reginald. I'm saying he's Reginald 2.0. The first one was the reverse of the colors. He was purple with blue spots and I added the tail and stuff. Tukey and we got Turks. But they're making a table, much like myself. And you got the whole crew. Big Mama, if you look on the side view, she's packing a wagon. Interesting. So they made the table similar to you? Yeah, similar to me, they made this table. Okay. I did your original character, Shroom, Shroomba, and Giga Shroomba. He's very hmm. cute. Hmm. I'm having a little bit of trouble deciding on which one I like better. I got something on my mouth. Probably gonna have to go take a look again. Michelle, yours turned out really nice too. I think right now I'm debating between yours and Michelle's. Valid, hers is also very good. I need to think. Is it stressful for you? So I need to make a decision now. I don't know which one to choose. It's your decision. We already judged yesterday. I know who I would choose though. So. Oh. Michalina and Michelle come over here. I'm still like 50-50, but I think I do have one. A Michalina's is fun very detailed. Michelle, since you did do the entire evolution, you had more characters, I think I'm gonna go with yours. Oh my god. Sorry, Michalini, you're, you're just so okay. cute and so detailed as well. Oh, I feel that. She's the reason I added the bunny. Oh, I feel so bad. Here. Sorry, Lena. Michelle is back in the game. Are you ready? Yes. I'm back. back. <laughs> well, other artists, thanks for coming back in. Thanks for competing. You guys did amazing. Round of applause for all of them. And now that we're done with that, let's take a look at these stone sculptures. For our first person, can I have Vanessa? I have a cow here. I originally had the dragon and then we switched. Ryan kind of had like a way of doing the legs that I tried to copy on each side. He's definitely gonna have to see up close. He has horns, as you can see. Vanessa, would you like to bring it up here? I like it, even though the snout is kind of big. It looked like a pig, for real, for real. The snout is thick. Okay, thank you very much, Vanessa. It did kind of look like a pig. Next up, can I have Ryan? Ryan. 
I have to pee really bad. Hello. I switched with Vanessa. Savannah made a switch, and I was kind of stoked because I really wanted to do the dragon in the first place. This is Remy, the rhino dragon. This big horn looks like a rhino, but he is a dragon. But he really comes to life after he's wet. Just wait. Now you can see like all the details in him. Oh. Ooh, look at the scales on the back. Right, Ryan, can you bring it up, please? Very impressive. I used to really like fossils and dinosaurs and stuff, and this reminds me of like a dinosaur skeleton. Very nice, Ryan. Very nice. Honestly, right now I'm super confident in my piece. Can I have Sheck? I had lizard. This is like my third attempt. I tried to do like a head and failed, and then I tried to do a body. And then I failed that, and then I went back to the head. Shout out to Mackenzie and Ryan. Thank y'all. It has a little mouth. Uh, you can also see the nostrils right here. I did eyes. And then I went in and I did the scales for the actual head as well. Yes. Want to bring it up yes. here? Yes. I like the scales. All right, thank you, Shaq. This could be my last day. And finally, can I have Savannah? I made a baby sea turtle, but my word was turtle. This was actually my word, so I was excited to get it. I had never worked with stone before either. Like anybody else here, it was definitely difficult, but I am happy with how all six of these little bumps turned out. And also his face kind of looks like Toothless from How to Train a Dragon, so that made me happy. Very nice, can you bring it up here? Thank you. Oh, you got the shape in there. Thank you very much, Savannah. If I get out right now, then my lucky charm sea turtle is not lucky. I will probably throw it in the ocean, back where it belongs. Come on, we got this, my man. We got this. All right, students, I am going to pass out your scores. It was a very difficult decision, but I have scores. Ryan? Make sure I see if your boy is returning. Savannah? I just hope I'm not last today. That's my goal. Vanessa? Shaq? First of all, I want to bring our highest scorer up. Ryan, could you come up? Go, fun, fun. I won one! And I got my first compliment from Zach. Thank you. It's been a year and a half. Yeah. I'm very proud of you, Ryan. Thank you. Today is a big one to win. You get two things. If you win this entire challenge, I'll give your mom a grand. What? That's amazing. And you have immunity for tomorrow. No! Oh. God, it's stuck! No! no! Which is actually going to be really uh. huge. And Ryan, I'll explain why else it's really big. Because tomorrow, we're eliminating two people. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, Shaq. I lost. You did get the lowest score, but luckily for you, there's no elimination today. There's no elimination! What? Oh. what? Tomorrow, we're gonna have five people compete. Two of you guys will be eliminated tomorrow. Ryan is safe. <laughs> Subscribe to see which one of them will win. Remember, one of them will graduate on the seventh day and win 10 grand. I will see you guys for day six of our school. See you guys.